so it's probably weird to see my face on this channel since this channel pretty much belongs to Kabuki. But um, I wanted to do a video on kind of just like my experience so far with raising a Savannah kitten because I know when I was looking into getting Kabuki um, I had a lot of questions. I wanted to know more about um, raising the cats, how they differ from a regular cat and stuff like that and I did find a lot of really interesting articles and stuff but it would have been nice to actually see an owner, you know, talk about the cat and stuff in a video. So I thought I would maybe be that first person to make a video on YouTube talking about what it's been like so far raising a Savannah kitten. So Kabuki just actually turned six months, so she's still a kitten, almost a cat, but still a kitten. And um, I adopted her when she was 10 weeks old. She is an F3 Savannah. There's different generations. An F1 is the closest to a serval, and then it goes up to like an F8, I think and it gets pretty close to just being a regular domestic cat which is a tiny bit of African serval. So Kabuki is an F3, she's approximately 20% serval, so one-fifth wild. But um, honestly you would think that she's more like half wild or full wild by the way that she behaves. But yeah, so I'm going to go over just a few things that I have learned so far raising Kabuki. Things that maybe you should know if you're looking into getting a Savannah. Just um, kind of like some warnings in a way. I love Kabuki. I do, I do, I do. She is my baby. She is my life. She means everything to me, but she is a lot of work. And I knew that when I got her, but like, man, man. Okay. And it's not all bad. There are tons of good things too, but raising a kitten to begin with is difficult. But a kitten with a little bit of wild blood is a whole nother story. So basically, um, I want to start with the good things because she's a great cat. She really is and I'm here with her all the time so that's probably helped her quite a bit. But um, she's very loving. She cuddles with me every single night. She lays in bed. She cuddles up right next to me. My cat, my cat that I had at um, my parents' house wasn't so much of a cuddler, you know. Um, she would um, sleep on my pillow sometimes. That was as close as she would get to me. But Kabuki wants to cuddle right up to my body. She wants to be as close to me as possible. She loves it. She just purrs and gives kisses. She gets really excited about it. Um, so she's really loving. She's really loyal. She wants to be with me 24-7. If I try to close her out of my bedroom door, she will cry. And she won't just cry for five minutes, she will cry for an hour if I don't let her in. She will not give up. She wants to be with me so badly. Even if I walk to go to the bathroom and I shut the door behind me, she cries at the door, she paws under the door. She wants in immediately, no matter what she's doing. She's just so loyal. Even when I take a shower, she has to sit on the edge of the shower and watch me. Like, she's just, it's crazy how smart she is and how, like, she's so observant and it just blows my mind. Um, another good thing, let's see, she's very um, healthy, it's like a healthy breed, you know. I leave her food out for her all day, she eats a lot, but she's teeny tiny, she's very slim, very muscular, um, just a great build of cat. Um, she's very active, she always wants to play, no matter how long, I could play with her for 20 hours and she'd still want to play the same at hour 19 as she did at hour 1. She's so active. Um, anytime I come home, she's waiting for me at the door. She's basically like a little dog. She's great. Um, but some negative things. This is what you guys are wanting. I know if someone found this video because they're concerned if they should get a Savannah or not because they've heard that they're a little wild, they're a little crazy, they're hard to tame, blah, blah, blah. Um, these are some warnings for you guys. Okay, so I really don't believe in getting a cat declawed. I feel like it's kind of immoral. It's just not fair. It's not right. So, um, you can argue with me. I have had cats, you know, that have been declawed and they're fine, but it's just something that I, it just doesn't sit right with me. I don't like it. I didn't even really want to get Kabuki, um, spaded, but, you know, I just kind of have to, so, yeah. Um, but be prepared to gain a lot of new scars from scratches. I actually don't have that many right now, and I don't know if you guys can see my scars on camera. But I have quite a few, um, and she doesn't mean to. She's just playful and she wants to play and that's her way of playing. But a um, lot of deep scratches, a lot, and she also bites a lot. And it's all in a playful way. None of it is aggression. Um, it's definitely just her way of playing and I've tried training her. Every time she bites, she gets a firm no, you know, and a little um, squeeze of her neck. Sometimes if she's really bad, a little squirt with the spray bottle. 
but I have not been able to break her of this habit yet. I know she's just a kitten, so I'm hoping it kind of fades as her, um, you know, her energy fades a little bit, but she is quite playful in a rough way. She always scratches and bites. Um, I'm looking into getting those little claw covers for her claw, so maybe they won't be so sharp. I do trim them like every two weeks, but her nails are still really, really sharp and she bites. Another thing, she does not listen at all. Um, if she, let's say I did not want her on the bed, that's, this is just an example, this wouldn't really happen, but let's say I didn't want her on the bed, I would say no, and I would pick her up, place her on the ground. I'm not kidding you guys, she will jump back up on the bed at least 50 times before she decides that she wants to give up and walk away. Like she does not listen, she does whatever she wants to do. She also likes to climb up on things a lot. She'll try to climb up on my really high bookshelf and she'll kind of like scratch the wood as she tries to go up. She tries to get up on my bed and she also kind of scratched that up a little bit. It's really hard to break those kind of behaviors and I've been trying really hard but it's just like she's a kitten and she has such a like crazy attention span. It's just all over the place and she has just so much energy that it's really hard to do. But, you know, um, that yeah, she does those kinds of things. But she's also really, really smart. Like, if I close her out, she can open the door handle. I had a video on here, the video that I just put up, I think, um, where she, it shows her how she opens the doors. It's totally crazy. Um, yeah, but that, that's pretty much it for the warnings. I don't want to scare you away from getting one if you're thinking about it because she really truly is my little best friend. I love her so much and she's such a great companion for me. But um, they are a handful. Maybe Kabuki is just a little diva. I don't know. Maybe it's not all Savannah's. But um, they are a handful and I would really recommend if you have small children to maybe think twice about this. Because I just know Kabuki, she gets in like these little like rage modes where she just wants to pounce and bite and scratch and like I just couldn't imagine having a small child right there, you know, not able to run away like I, like I run away from her. So um, yeah, another thing she does is she always knocks things over. She has an obsession with knocking my hand soap into my trash can. She does it like 50 times a day. I'm going to have to glue them down to my sink because she literally does it every day and it makes me so mad. Um, but other than that, yeah, really great cat. I love her. I don't regret getting her at all. But um, I feel like maybe for me, it's somewhat of a special circumstance because I, I do spend probably about 70 to 80 percent of my time in my apartment. I don't leave to go to work or anything like that. So I'm always here with her, which is really great for raising a kitten and making sure she's getting like proper training and stuff so I don't know how she would have turned out if I would never be here and she would just be here by herself. I don't know if she would be as loyal or maybe she wouldn't be as aggressive as she is with me but you know who knows. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say about what it's been like raising Kabuki so far. Maybe I will do another video in a few months. Maybe she'll change a little bit but um, that's it. I was hoping she would want to come back up here with me, but I don't think she wants to. So, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great night. I love you all. Bye. Mm -hmm.